Home Plate is brought to you by OptiView Vision Centers, with two locations to serve you in Austintown and Niles. Shaw here at Enzo's tonight. We have a fun group of girls with us. This is their first time here. Can you guys tell me why you came out here tonight? Um, it's like a girls' night out, so and some of our friends work here, so we decided to come check it out. Awesome. Have you ever, have any of you guys, been here on your own before to eat food here? Um, I've been I have. I've been here one time. What was your favorite thing? I got the cheese ravioli. I love their specials, and I particularly love the veal parmesan. And it's just a great atmosphere uh, to enjoy with my family. Hi, I'm here with Mauro Cantalameza. He's one of the owners here at Enzo's Restaurant, located on Elm Road in Warren, Ohio. Mauro, thanks for having us here tonight. Thank you, Stephanie. I want to talk to you a little bit about the family history and how the business got started. Sure. Well, you know what? My, my mother and father started the business in the actually mid-60s. And ironically enough, it started with just pizza. And it just evolved from there, sort of. And I know that the restaurant wasn't always located on Elm Road. It was previously on, on 422, correct? How long ago was that? 422 was about 20 years ago, and then actually it started on 422 at a different location prior to that, prior to the one you're thinking of, closer to the mall. Okay. And so how long have you been here on Elm Road? A little over 35 years. My mom and dad are Italian immigrants, and they started originally a place called Roma Pizza in uh, in Warren and my dad had a place called the Flamingo in Niles um, and throughout the years it progressed it became Enzo's restaurant on Youngstown Road at one time we had as many as four locations throughout the county uh, we're currently in what was at the time and remains our main location here on Elm Road in Warren and luckily having a pretty good night. Yeah, you guys are having a rocking night tonight. <laughs> this is awesome. I love to see folks at our local restaurants giving back to the community. It's really a good thing. Yeah. A lot of our customers, um, we've known for years, they followed us from location to location. Our family's been very, very fortunate that way. How long have you been working at an Enzo's restaurant? I don't know if I can remember that far back, but <laughs> I remember my earliest memory of work work uh, being rolling meatballs when I was about three years old. Wow. So I've, I've been doing it most of my life. So. Aren't there child labor laws? You know, you're going to have to take up take that up with my mom. <laughs> I'll have to ask Selena about Yeah, absolutely. That. So, and so I have a delicious looking meal here in front of me. Tell me what I'm about to eat. This is a dish that we run on special rather frequently and it's pretty popular. It's called shrimp and scallops al olio. It is a, believe it or not, despite how it looks, um, it's a very simple dish to make. Um, it's an olive oil and garlic base. As you can see, the shrimp and the scallops and a lot of, um, a lot of good healthy veggies for you. Um, and it's tossed over angel hair pasta. It's very light, it's very popular. We sell an awful lot of it, and especially when the weather starts to break. Oh, this looks great. Wow, the vegetables are fresh and crisp. They're sun-dried tomatoes mushrooms, shrimp, all my favorites are in here and it tastes great. I always save room for dessert at Enzo's. Their tiramisu is awesome. Mm, so moist, rich. I love it. It's great. Alan, can you tell me what you ate for dinner? Biscotti. Forget. Oh, that is awesome. Say that one more time. Biscotti. <laughs> so what did you
you have tonight? Fish. Fish. Was it good? Yes. It was very good. So what did you have, Emily? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Did you have meatballs too? One. One. <laughs> Me too. You did. And I, I thought you didn't know how to talk on TV. You tricked me. You tricked me. What did you eat tonight? I had a salad and spaghetti. Salad and spaghetti. Did you have meatballs with yours too? One. One. Have you guys been here before? No. 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 This is your first time? No, I've been here. You have? Yeah. All right. My grandma and my grandpa. And did you eat spaghetti? What did you eat tonight? I had a spaghetti. <laughs> what did you have, Nate? Fair fight. We are the Alright, thank you guys. For an authentic diner experience, look no further than the Steel Trolley Diner in downtown Lisbon, Ohio. Award-winning hamburgers with all of your favorite toppings, fresh cut fries and onion rings, delicious milkshakes, and some of the best homemade pies you'll find anywhere. Stop by the marketplace and pick up Steel Trolley's original topping sauces, t-shirts, and classic candies. For hometown service and great food, visit the Steel Trolley Diner in Lisbon, Ohio today. Follow us on Facebook or at steeltrolleydiner.com. Join us for the Greek Festival at Archangel Michael Greek Orthodox Church in Camel, Ohio. September 16th, 17th, and 18th, we've got the best Greek food in town. Games, Greek music, dancing, and so much more. Mark your calendar now. Join us for the Home Plate Oktoberfest. That's September 18th at the Saxon Club in Youngstown from 4 to 8. Ein Kroset! <laughs> Home Plate Home Style is brought to you in part by Ruli Brothers Markets. Hi, I'm Helga Wengler. And I'm Mitch Lynch. Welcome to Home Plate Home Style. Today we're going to make some apple pancakes. And they're delicious. Wait till you taste them. Yes, you wait. Yes. I'm going to make the batter. Did you know when you hit your egg like this, you never get any shells in it? No one ever told me that. Flat down there. Mm -hmm. Can you do it with uh, two hands? <laughs> no. <laughs> and we have a garbage bowl. Okay, we're going to do from three eggs you today. You should be in the NBA. <laughs> and all we do is kind of stir them up like this. And we're going to put a quarter cup of sugar in there. Like this. How much is that? How much sugar you use? I think it's a fourth of a cup. About a fourth of yeah. a cup? Yeah. And of course, we got to have a little vanilla in there. Just eyeball it. Nice. Okay. We can do it right that. Mash that up too. Mix it up. I gotta go use better language, I guess. <laughs> Let's use see. what you use in your own y kitchen. Yeah, right? I know. Now we're gonna go with the flour. And uh, oh, Mitch, I forgot the milk. Can you get this for me out of the refrigerator? Sure. Thank you. We take about a cup and a half. Okay. And you, would you like to pour the milk? Uh, about a, a about a, no, you don't need it. Eyeball. About a cup Just and a half. eyeball it, yeah. <laughs> I tell you when. Okay, let's just mix that all up. We got the sugar in there, the vanilla in there. And it just needs a little bit work and you don't want to yeah, have... You look pretty good, huh? You know, you want to have it nice and... It's nice getting and, smooth. Yes, it does. We don't want lumps. But uh, it's going to go away. It's getting really nice. And then... You can go cut the apples for me mm, if I you can like. I smell the vanilla. It's you? Yeah, go pick a little okay. bit more. A little uh, more milk? A little bit more milk. Yeah, milk. Okay, that's very good. And then now you can go and do the apples for me. Would that be okay, okay with you? Got to get you to work too. This always happens to me. Really? You got to do the hard work? Always these ladies yeah. put me to work. <laughs> and then all we do is we fry them up in some oil. And they're done. See, this is how it oh, has to be. Oh, that's nice batter. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Very nice. You don't want to have it too thick, but because you put your apples in it, that makes it a little more thicker. Oh, yeah, and there's not even a lump in there. <laughs> okay, now, Mitch, you sliced all the apples. I mean, you actually grate them because go. this is really nice. And the kids really like them because uh, my mom in Germany, she always used apple rings. And sometimes when they weren't cut small enough, 
you bit on that hard apple. Yeah, so I came up bite. with that. The grandchildren love this. So all we do is going to throw it right in here now. Okay, hold that. Okay. Now look at that. Doesn't that look good? Look at the color, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to mix this in. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. And now we put some oil in the pan. Just cover the bottom. And here we go. And uh, what I do is I just take my scooper like this. And we make some apple pancakes. Sometimes you can call them fritters also. And you can make them as big as you like, small as you like. When you have little ones at home, make them a little smaller. They don't like big things on the plate. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Now doesn't that look good? And they take about three, four minutes. That's all on one side. Not even, maybe two minutes. And then take a fork and a spatula and see how you get them nice yeah, very, oh, very Whoa, nice. this one is good, huh? Beautiful. Yes, there we go. Yeah, maybe the pan just has to be spun a little bit for the heat. Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, you are the chef, you no, know. No, I'm just helping out. I'm just helping out. I'm learning out. today here. <laughs> yes. You can probably going to make those at home for your wife. Oh. How's that? Don't you tell her. Oh, okay. It'll so be a surprise for Swedish Day. And the, yes, and then what we do is have a little paper towel on your plate okay. okay and kind of because they Careful are in the they, uh, they are in the oil you know whoops there you go see i know how they taste oh so. you first me first okay let's have a taste oh look at that excellent look how light mm. Mm. very nice yummy this is excellent Excuse me. Mm, you can taste the vanilla, the fresh Wonderful. apple. Wonderful, yes. Mm, Very light. A little crunchy with the apple. Mm, I good? like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you for watching. Please come back to our kitchen. Yes. This is Home Plate Home Style. I'm Mitch. And I'm Helga. Auf Wiedersehen. Kevin, how do you remember when to change your furnace filter? Well, what I do is when I put the new filter in, I mark the date three months from the date that I put it in. All right. So let's assume today is October 23rd. I would mark the furnace filter January 23rd of the next year. All right, and you're always coming down in your basement to do laundry, household projects, whatever. So just glance over and check it. Right, and then you'll simply know when to change your filter. All right. So just slide it back in. Here you've got the date and you know when to change it. All right, another great idea. Well, join us next time when we'll have another great tip. It's time for the 44th annual Johnny Appleseed Festival in beautiful downtown Lisbon, Ohio, September 17th and 18th. Free kids games, classic car show, country art of Zach Paxson, apple foods, and so much more. Join us for the fun. Clarence Dell Cake is now open in Sharon, PA. Our elegant wedding cakes, creative novelty cakes, and our delectable cupcakes are now available at two locations. Discover Clarence Dell Cake in Boardman and now open in downtown Sharon. Welcome to Explore the Mahoning Valley. I'm your host, Paula Jasper. Today, we're going to visit a unique and special event, the Fall Bacchanalia Festival of Patricia and Amico Mariani of Austin Town. When Home Plate got invited to the festival last fall, we thought we were going to a party in someone's backyard. Okay, maybe we expected a little more. 
A friend tipped us off to the grape stomping and wine making competition, but we never expected such a beautifully designed landscape. There were Venetian bridges, European style fountains, and private grottos. Everywhere you looked, Amico had created something to delight the eye. Amico, a native of Italy, brought this ancient Roman celebration of wine and the harvest to the Mahoning Valley several years ago. The two-day celebration combined ancient Roman ritual and a Christian blessing from Reverend Terry Hazel of the Diocese of Youngstown. From the torch-laden yet whimsical ceremony crowning this year's high priestess to the stomping of grapes amid a European atmosphere of family fun, the event defied description. Let's go inside and meet Amico, who built this enchanting landscape over the course of several years. What we do is uh, we crush the grapes for next year competition, actually. So that, uh, and then uh, so we eat first, then uh, crush the grapes, and then during that time, people uh, all are here. They all arrive and they have voted, you know, and then we count the votes and award a trophy for a year to the winner, you know. And it's a fierce competition. They'll be, all the winemakers will be there like this, you know, trying to, <laughs> to see if that number is uh, oh, theirs, you know. And I found out that you are going to be the high priestess this yes, evening. Is that true? Yes. Now, what's your name? Kelly. And Kelly, have you ever attended this event before? No, I haven't. I've never been able to make it, so it's all new to me. I'm very excited. <laughs> but you've heard about it. I have. I've been told a lot about it. And what have you heard? All good things. Yeah. Exciting things. There's lots of wine and fun. <laughs> It's such a great event. I, I am absolutely thrilled to find out that someone here in Austin Town, Greater Youngstown, does a Dionysian Bacchanal. It's pretty exciting. It is, it is. And I, I have to say that you are just a vision of Italian beauty. I think Thank they're so you. lucky to have you. <laughs> Thank you. More than 300 people were present at last year's event, coming from all over the country and even Canada. It is just wonderful to watch them stomp the grapes and then drink the wine the following year, which is excellent. John Webster, who writes the Wine Guy column for Metro Monthly, attended and helped judge the homemade wines. The winner of this year's winemaking contest was Mario Diulo. Linda Perry came in second, Sue Cabot and Fernando Riccioni tied for third place. The entire Home Plate crew would like to thank Patricia and Amico Mariani for their kindness and hospitality. I'm Paula Jasper for Explore the Mahoning Valley on Home Plate. I'm John Webster, the wine guy, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, airing wine and the proper ways of doing it. In the past, people used a decanter, which is for, there's no problem with that whatsoever. But uh, recently, there's been some devices uh, brought out onto the market. This one here is called the Vino Air. It's a, 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 a device that injects oxygen and air into the wine as it's poured from the bottle. It's a, it's a new uh, method, it works very well. I've, I've not found any of the ones that, uh, on the market uh, that really doesn't deliver the, the goods. And I'm gonna show you how it works. You take the cork out of here and you put the device in the, the bottle like, you, like you're uh, reseeding a cork. And you take your glass and you just pour. And you can see the, you can actually see it working. It's bringing uh, air from outside the bottle and it's injecting it into the wine as it pours. And that will really, it really does work. I've tried it both ways, and uh, if you try the wine without it, you can tell that it, it's, a, it's a new wine. If you, if you try it with the, uh, uh, the aerator, it definitely smooths the wine out, and it makes for a, a much more pleasurable experience. Be sure to read my column in the Metro Monthly each month. House is downtown Warren's favorite place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
Enjoy one of our classic breakfast offerings or a delicious sandwich or salad. Work or relax with our free Wi-Fi. And don't forget to try all of our homemade desserts, scones, muffins, and our famous New York-style cheesecakes. We also offer catering and can host your special event for up to 100 guests. We're open seven days a week with dinner entrees and daily specials. Visit the Mocha House today. If you're tired of seeing this every time you try to use the toaster with the microwave, it's time to call Tedco Electric. With over 25 years of commercial and residential experience, call Tedco for all of your electrical needs. Call 330-720-8587. Licensed, insured, and affordable. Call Tedco Electric today. It's not Schwabels. Don't eat it. Hello and welcome to Expressions. I'm Sophia Brooks and today we have an excellent program for you. My guest is Frank Castellano and he's a guitarist. And I was telling him before we start talking that I didn't used to like the guitar, but when he plays it, I love it. Welcome to Expressions. How could you not like the guitar? Well, I don't know. I was thinking of country western. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course, no, don't get me wrong. I like country western too, some of them. But uh, you're from this area, right? I'm from Warren, Ohio. You grew up here. I grew up, still growing up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you're going to, when did you start playing the guitar? Oh, I was about 10 years old. What made you like the guitar? Not the piano or something like that. Um, actually, um, I had an older cousin who, who played the guitar, and um, he lived with us for a brief while when I was a kid, and then um, um, somewhere down the road, uh, my father came across a guitar someone he was getting rid of, and he said, hey, you want to take lessons? And I said, sure, because I was 10. And you said, sure, when your father asked you that. And uh, so I started then, and that was it. What kind of music do you play? Now, what, before we go into farther, this is an acoustic guitar. Yes. And it's also an electric guitar. Yes. How does that connect? Because usually you see them with Well, the the whole, it, right through this little doohickey right here. Okay. What are you going to play for me today? Ah, uh, jeez. I think I'll play the piano for you. <laughs> 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 I'll play a little song that I was messing around with a little while ago. All right. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow Bright golden haze on the meadow Corn is as high as an elephant's eye It looks like it's climbing clear up to the sky Oh, beautiful morning Oh, what a beautiful day I got this beautiful feeling Everything's going my way The sound of the earth are like music The sound of the earth is like music The wind is so busy You don't miss a tree And oh, weep and willow is laughing at me Oh, what a beautiful morning Oh, what a beautiful day I got this beautiful feeling Everything's going my way oh, Such a beautiful morning A beautiful morning that I wrap it up and I put it in a box and send it to the one I love. Oh. Enjoyable, you know that. Well, thank you. Yeah. And we were talking about the fact that you have this rapport with the audience. 
I think that's wonderful because, as I said, you have that with me. And I can come and just listen because it's so good. Frank, where can we get your music? Um, my current CD, you can buy it uh, from my website. Okay. Or you can, I'll bring it over to your house if you <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the one in the future, of course, is the same deal. Uh, I'll have it on my website. I'll have it in a couple of stores and uh, I'll have it on the trunk of my car and wherever. Okay. <laughs> yes, these days you have to have it with you at all times. Through a partnership with the Mahoning Valley Historical Society and its business and media archives, Home Plate will take you on a trip back in time. Each week we will feature a different segment from our area's history. Now, let's go inside the archives. You can. 